Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to, uh, well, I guess it's Cosmonaut mostly in the Soviet Republic with the resources and workers. Yeah. Uh, last time around, you may recall that uh, by not paying attention to the heating system, I pretty much erased the population of my town here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fortunately, I was playing on a map with population that still had population in the uh, sleeping uh, villages. And uh, I imported a bunch of people, got the heating plants going, and uh, some stuff had, has uh, recovered, right? Uh, I'm just clearing a traffic jam here. Um, right. Now, uh, I've wound things forward just a little bit. Uh, uh, we're into the uh, late spring now, uh, and that's, uh, I did that just because uh, there was a whole bunch of tedious stuff to uh, get things back to a semi-even keel. Uh, uh, I imported a bunch more citizens from the other villages on the map, not from the uh, third world or whatever. Uh, and now we've got a steady supply of workers appearing here. Uh, we are educating our uh, um, youngins, and we still need no. Uh, we we need uh, professors, right? But that's fine. Uh, as long as we have some coming through here, uh, we should be we should be able to uh, recover. Now we've got uh, children being born again. Uh, that is uh, definitely going to help. Uh, the population will start uh, going up again. Now, we lost about 5,000 people, which I think was, uh, you know, a fair chunk of the population of this area, right? Um, now, what I did is I cut down the staffing at uh, these uh, places here uh, substantially. Uh, that uh, So they just didn't vacuum uh, people off. I probably should uh, knock back the uh, the workers at the uh, radio station, but uh, you know I'm going to let that uh, tick along. As the the workers here, uh, they come from over here, right? And uh, that's uh, and overflow from over here will walk over here, I think. Um, but as things stand, uh, I need the population in in around the area to uh, to go up, right? Uh, so there's I basically filled up all of these buildings. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, I brought in about a, about eleven hundred people, uh, and. Uh, that uh, hopefully will be enough to uh, kickstart all of this. In the meantime, the railroad building adventure is underway. Uh, where is the uh, the railroad? Uh, it uh, doesn't have any workers, though, so it's not actually doing anything. Uh, but this does uh, pretty much uh, demonstrate why. Uh, you need to make sure you don't erase your entire uh, population of workers. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, reduce the number of uh, buses in the construction labor area, which will normalize that a bit as well. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, what? No. I'm going to uh, send them over here. Uh, you know, three or four buses, uh, micro buses there should be enough. Uh, so I'm going to uh, just send them over there. Um, three, I think, will be enough. As long as I don't overload the construction thing. That way we're only ever going to yank 21, uh, because these are capacity 7, 21 workers away from this bus stop uh, when the, uh, the thing there... Uh, sends sends out uh, for workers, right? Uh, now, uh, now I'm going to uh, assign this bit here to be completed. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't uh, doesn't cause us uh, severe problems, right? Uh, now we've got uh, we do have workers turning up here. 
uh, which uh, may perhaps not be ideal, but it is allowing the constructions down here to progress. So that may be worth having. Uh, is that uh, I can turn the workers off down there once the stuff down here builds, right? But we just need the the whole uh, we need the pipeline here to complete uh, into the uh, this here is the uh, what what's this is the wait what I don't uh, I don't get what's going on here is this the oil. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember what I was doing. Anyway, while this is recovering, uh, we're waiting. I need to, we need to wait for the happiness number here to go up. Uh, because this, uh, this happiness number, uh, if it's too low, uh, will, will cause us trouble. Now, it's, uh, ticking up, pa up toward or past 50% in most of these. And that's because all of the uh, these things are operating, right? So, uh, right. Yeah, we're we're doing the higher education thing now. Uh, there will be a backlog because I grabbed a bunch of uh, uh, workers from the sticks, but it will eventually sort itself out. Uh, right. Okay. So these. Uh, these bits of uh, construction are finishing, so that will uh, help some stuff, I'm sure. Right. Do we... Yeah, there's no workers up there. That's fine. I don't need workers up there. That's the kindergarten. That's a hospital. That's the fire... Oh, we do have firefighters. That is good. Okay. Yeah, we're not missing any mechanisms there, so that is good. Okay. We have four staffers there, but nobody actually broadcasting anything. Right. Okay, so I need to stop saying okay all the time, don't I? Right. The process here now... I guess I want to uh, keep getting the... Uh, the uh, road upgrades done and I think it would be very smart to get the upgrades along here done at some point um, but to do that yeah hmm Okay, that's all. Well, why don't I do this part? Okay. Um, yeah. Wait, no. Um, take off the uh, labor guys there. They need the labor guys there. Okay. Right. Okay, right, yes. Uh, I, I should, if, if I could be bothered in the edit, I should, uh, I should go in there and have it pop up, okay, right, or something like that on the screen uh, every time I say that. Yeah. Probably not a good idea. Probably be annoying. Even more annoying than me saying that all the time. Okay. So far, so... Oh, that finished. That's going to make decent progress. That can, That's using mechanisms. That will make progress. Okay. Let's check in here. We have 10 workers here. 
be eight workers. Be good if we had uh, a few more, but I think everything is starting to normalize now. Yeah, the, the number of children is going up. It's up to 5%, so that means we've got... Yeah, we've got children in there, so... It's going to take a little while, but eventually uh, these uh, numbers will, will go up. Uh, we got, we have 600 odd uh, 16 to 21 year olds. Those are probably largely in the villages. Okay, how is this coming along? That needs, uh, that needs workers. That's good. Okay, that's going to need uh, resources, right? Do we have, we have one doctor in the hospital. Yeah. Seriously impressive that, eh? We, ha we don't have enough professors. Uh, but I don't think I can sort that out just at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to have to let that tick along. And it will eventually improve on its own, or it should. Uh, traffic jam, I should have looked at what that was. That was probably the dump trucks. Here, we're delivering the final uh, uh, necessary uh, resources to uh, complete that bit of road. I'll add the uh, labor back here because I'm going to need it there. Now we just need some labor to turn up here and that will finish. Okay. Why does that take the long way around there instead of just turning around? Nah, it's fine. We do have people turning up over here, though. Where are they coming from? There's no people over there. What's in walking range from here? Oh, we do have some of these guys in walking range. Okay. Well, that's fine. Any of these guys? Oh, some of these guys are collecting uh, uh, workers. Okay. That's... Uh, one of them is. These guys? No. Uh, I think that means somebody grew up. Moved out of their, of their parents' place, right? Uh, we're up to 8% with the... Uh, is that 8 or is that, that 6%? That font is terrible. Uh, right. Okay. Is this guy auto-searching? No, don't auto-search. Okay. Uh, where's this at? It's waiting for resources. Okay. I wonder if the developers will improve the AI operations for the construction offices so that it can uh, predict uh, what um, when the buses need to be there and so on. I imagine that's a harder problem than it sounds. Uh, probably not not time for that uh, until uh, well into the uh, I suppose you would call it uh, uh, polish stage of development probably how's the 
Yeah, we're eroding workers there. Only five there. And six there. Yeah. Well, I think uh, there's a good shot or a good chance that the Republic is uh, potentially saved. Happiness too low. Which building? That one. 49%. Okay. That should start uh, going away soon as these numbers uh, tick up past uh, 50%. See, that one's up to 52. Uh, this one is up to 62 so I I guess the uh, the happiness will sort itself out which is good uh, overall government loyalty is 43 percent I suspect the baseline number for that is going to be higher than it has been uh, once everything sorts out uh, simply because there's less population in the outlying towns uh, that will be capped right uh, oh, in case you uh, weren't aware, uh, the population that starts out in those towns, it's in what it's what's known as sleeping, right? Uh, so that means uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't up pa and pack up and leave uh, with if it doesn't get uh, uh, all the amenities, right? Uh, I'm not sure if that population counts toward the population at which the uh, crime and justice uh, stuff applies or not. Uh, I think maybe not. Uh, so, uh, realistically, the sleeping population, it's there. It's, it's uh, a useful resource if you uh, run out of uh, people for whatever reason because you were dumb. Uh, I mean, if you do a dumb, things are going to happen, right? Uh, oh, now we've got more than one person in there. Yeah, okay, yeah, the population is going up. That is good. Uh, it should start, yeah, yeah, it's going to start going up quite quickly. Uh, given that we've got 128 uh, youngins now, right? Uh, we got lots of places to house them, so uh, they can uh, appear uh, in these uh, these buildings we have. Now, I'm not sure if I should uh, wind this forward some more, or if I should uh, go and do some more uh, planning uh, of uh, other things. Um, ah. We've got this has uh, completed. Okay. We have the power infrastructure is completed, right? Uh, that has power, that has gas. Uh, that's complete. Uh, underground, we have pipes. Um, oh, I see. We feed directly into the refinery, and the output here is fuel, and this is going to be bitumen. Yeah. Okay. That means this needs to get constructed. Uh, right. Okay. The first stage can run without workers, I think. So I'm going to use this where I don't have the workers, and I'm going to assign the. No. I'm going to assign it with the helicopter as well. Uh, yeah.
yeah, that's going to bring stuff down here and get things uh, operating. Uh, we've got workers here. Hmm. What if I turn the workers off there? Click on the right thing. That should keep more of them over here, I would think. Right. Nine percent children now so it's a bit of a baby boom that's okay we need a bunch of children coming up so the school yeah we have some doctors at the um, hospital so there's that Oh, that finished. <clears throat> Might as well keep the uh, the progress going there. Uh, uh, do that. Good. So the population of the Republic is increasing. That is that is good. There are, yeah, there's, there's people. Yeah, there's people moving in up there as well. Uh, are there people moving in over here? Um, Okay, well, well, that can that can keep uh, doing its thing. This here is working its way down with um, uh, several excavators. It still needs a lot of resources, but those will get there. The thing about refineries is they're expensive. Uh, one, but once you get it up, this refinery will take a lot of input and uh, do a lot of stuff output-wise, right? And these guys, that has workers. That has workers. Right. Okay. That's good. Uh, it's, uh, of course, summer, and that means that uh, the weather is in a situation where uh, the people aren't going to freeze, so there's at least a benefit there. Right. I think we can realistically say that the Republic isn't dead. It was questionable there for a moment, but I think it's survivable. So I guess that's, uh, that's the best it can be hoped for, right? Now these here, uh, storage tanks, they're mods in case you're wondering. And I'm okay using them because they take up a fair amount of space compared to these. They're basically nine of these. So with that, uh, it's not really uh, a cheat or anything. Uh, and with the attached uh, rail uh, uh, loader of business, uh, it it allows uh, it allows for uh, efficient. Uh, high volume export to the uh, the border or wherever we're going to send it, right?
obviously some amount of the fuel and some amount of the bitumen is going to go to our own use and we'll be able to stop importing it if both of them and that uh, that will be uh, that will be ideal uh, it'll save us uh, a decent amount of uh, rubles because we won't be importing fuel so if we we go in here and we look at prices and if we look at fuel uh, we're paying 113 rubles per ton right and that gets uh, expensive fairly quickly once the uh, once this is all online and we have our own fuel production uh, we have enough excavators there to uh, outfit uh, three construction companies that's uh, that's that's kind of uh, useful so that's uh, counting things down nice and fast Now, of course, we're still going to have 9,000 work days left to complete this. Uh, and that's going to be, that stage is going to require cranes and workers. Um, I'll just turn the workers back on at the helipad there when, uh, when the time comes. And that, the helicopter will bring enough of them in. Otherwise, the 300 tons of steel uh, and 62 tons of mechanical uh, components will be uh, will take a minute to bring in right and once all of this is done and the train uh, construction business gets back underway I'll I'll export uh, some tankers worth of train uh, trains of uh, oil products and uh, hopefully that will uh, do well ultimately I want a uh, rail distribution office and because I can send the the rail distribution office could send a train a train to both of these uh, at the same time and take it to the uh, border potentially. Oh, nice! There's only one. It's only a two stage. Okay. I'll let it uh, collect the resources before I enable the uh, workers, though. Here, we've got plenty of uh, workers on the platform. What, what? You went for... Oh, I need to put a gas station down here. Okay, so we'll put a gas station down here. Okay, so we put a gas station down here. Good. Uh, right. Assign that. Okay. Uh, to make sure that we don't run out of rubles, let's just uh, up the uh, ante a bit there. Borrow some more money, because, uh, I mean... You might think, oh yeah, you're just borrowing money to uh, to get out of things. But uh, it, borrowing money can really put you in a fix if you borrow too much. And we're nowhere near too much. Uh, but it can really put you in a fix. So you, you want to make sure that you're a little bit careful about that, especially in Cosmonaut mode. With Cosmonaut, uh, basically anything that makes your life harder is generally allowed. So borrowing money is allowed. So, uh, it makes your life harder, right? Uh, meanwhile, down in fuel refinery land, uh, we've brought in uh, a small amount of the resources necessary. Uh, we brought some in by truck, and we're bringing stuff in by chopper as well. Now, the chopper's less efficient but it's, uh, it's, it allows moving more times, right? Uh, so uh, it is somewhat remote, so it's, it's generally uh, 
I don't think it's a, a big deal uh, doing that, but hey, you might. Entirely up to you. If you think uh, the helicopter construction stuff is cheating, well, then you can, you're can you free to play without it, right? You don't have to use it. It's a great thing about a uh, thing like this, right? Now, building is without that built. What? Why is it without power supply? We have wattage there. What isn't built? Okay, let's go in here. Um. Building properties, wattage. Okay. Oh, I don't see a substation anywhere there. Thought I put one in. Oh, that's a pump. I didn't put a station in there. Does that one have... No, that has no power supply either. Well, clearly... Clearly, I need to put a substation in there or run a wire. I think I'll go with a substation. Uh, yeah. If I put a substation here, probably should have faced it the other way. We don't have a... Oh, we can come in from this way. Okay. No, I did face it the right way. Okay. Well, uh, close that. Build the wire. Uh, mark the wire as uh, ready to build. Uh, do that. Oh, I connected that to the wrong place. Nope. Uh, here. I need to connect that to the substation. Uh, take, take that. I'm just uh, taking that out so I can build it clean. Uh, right. You come over to here. Then you come over to here, and then down to here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to assign the chopper to that. And that. Okay. That should get the uh, pipeline moving. Um, right. And this one is waiting for stuff to be delivered. Uh, all related vehicles. A bunch of stuff is coming. Yeah, a bunch of stuff is coming. Good. That will get the that will get the pipeline operational now, or it should, unless I missed something. Uh, oh wow. Uh, look at the uh, the children count. Uh, we're up to uh, 236 at uh, the under seven, right? Uh, we're doing better there. We're doing okay there. We're doing okay there. Um, Well, there's, uh, there's people moving into places. Oh, we got students in here, too. 
right? And these guys are... Well, that guy's almost full. Okay. How's this guy doing? We've got workers waiting. Okay. Well, let's make sure that's assigned. Good. Well, I think that's enough for this uh, this episode. Uh, I think the the Republic will be fine now. Uh, it'll take a minute to get the population back up in this in, in the town area here, but it will happen. And as long as the next winter doesn't clobber us, I don't think it will. But as long as it doesn't, uh, it should be okay. Anyway, are we do no? We're not doing anything down there yet. Okay, that's. Uh, that's going to be all for this this episode. Uh, next time around, uh, it's probably going to be more faffing about getting things uh, organized, right? So, yeah, not not too much doing, but uh, that's uh, I think a crisis averted. So, uh, yeah, I think I think we can generally be uh, pleased with that result. I did not do that intentionally. You might think I did to create some drama, but no, I just wasn't paying attention. And that's, uh, that's what uh, clobbers you in these, these types of games. Anyway, uh, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you, uh, if you think that's a thing you want to do. Or you can hit the dislike if you prefer. And the bell, uh, if you turn that on, it might give you some notifications, which you might find useful. Entirely up to you, and uh, see you back next time.